If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, November 5th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings, and on today's show in the Finise Monitor, we'll talk to the man who currently stands as the fastest 50 freestyler in collegiate swimming. Danny Tucker swam a 1987 at an Invitational a couple of weeks ago, the fastest swim so far this season. And joining us now to talk about that and more from West Lafayette, Indiana, is Danny Tucker. Danny, it's good to see you. How are you today? Doing right? How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. So this, this 1987 took a few people by surprise, me included. Uh, were you surprised by the swim? Uh, a, a little bit, yeah. I, you know, I wanted to hit that 19 because I saw you know, the, the top time you know, before that was a, a 19.99. So you know, I wanted that. I wasn't exactly expecting it, but you, know, you always want to go as fast as you can. Well, going under 20 seconds, as you well know, is not an easy thing to do in the middle of the season. So. How many times have you gone under 20 uh, in season, unshaved, untapered? Uh, that was it, just that one time. That one time. So this is going to be a very special special swim for you, the first time you've gone under 20. So uh, tell us what it took for you to be able to do that. Um, I, know I, just, I just felt good in the water. I just felt really smooth. felt like I you know, nailed my start and my turn. So you know, in the 50, that's, that's really how you get there. Yeah, the, the 50 free is just, I, I hate to use the words touch and go, but on any given day, I mean, just one little tiny mistake can, can be, um, you know, the difference between first and third in a close race, you know, it can mean a, a couple tenths here and there. So what do you, what specifically about that race do you think went absolutely right for you? Uh, well, everything, I guess, you know, that's, that's what it had to be, uh, you know, start smoke. Start felt smooth and the turn felt, you know, all right. Now, I have been known for having good starts and turns, so, you know, I'm finally improving on that and the uh, results are starting to show. Well, here's the $64,000 question. Were you wearing a racing suit or were you just in briefs for that? I was in a brief. Wow, that's, that's even more impressive, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. I think a lot of people were thinking, oh, he, he, may, he was obviously not shaved, but wearing a jammer, so... Um, now you've you set the record straight, and I think a lot of people are making are seeing that as a more much more impressive swim. Um, I was I was told something that was very interesting to me that you drink a Dr. Pib before all your races. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a very interesting um, superstition or pre-race ritual. When did this start? Um, it happened a couple summers ago. This had to be uh, a summer before trials, and uh, I was coming back for, from lunch for finals at a state meet, and I just was holding the cup in the ready room. And I, you know, when we walked out, I, re I still realized I had it, and people were looking at me kind of funny. And that's when I qualified for the Olympic trials for the first time, so just kind of stuck with it. Well, it's not, like I said, it's not the most, um, I guess, healthy thing to be drinking before a race. And, um, so has there ever been a moment where you haven't had a Mr. Pib before a race, and, and the <laughs> results didn't turn out very well? Um, I don't think so. You know what? I've, I think I've had one just every time, so. Well, stick with what works, I guess. Yeah. Any other interesting pre-race rituals that you have? I know sprinters usually have something kind of interesting going on. Um, you know, morning swims, I like pancakes. You know, any other swim, I'll take, you know, anything. Junk food is good. You know, calories is just another word for energy, so why not? Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking this 1987 sets you up for a Big Ten title in the 50 free, and I know the competition is going to be quite intense. You got Derek Toomey from Minnesota in there, so you know, how does this set you up for the rest of the season? Um, well, I'm, I'm obviously happy with the time, but I just got to remember that you know every race is a fresh start. You know, there's there's Toomey and Ortiz, both of them. I know where all three of us are going to go. We're looking for some uh, some good times. So, you know, especially in the next few weeks when people start having those mid-season taper meets, you know, 19-8 is not going to be top of the list anymore. You know, whoever ends up having it, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. But 
you know, everyone's at a different spot of the season right now, so we just got to wait and see what happens. Well, this is not, this 1987 isn't just the first good swim you've had. You won U.S. Open in the 100 freestyle. 49-11, I think you dropped your best time by a little more than a second. Uh, what's going on at Purdue, uh, not just with you, but with the team that, that's helping you have this success? Uh, the coaches and the teammates. You know, uh, over the summer, I just had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Jay, and he was, you know, giving me a lot of stuff on technique and working on my back half and getting the right uh, strategy, as he would say. And um, you know, just we just put all the pieces together. So, winning the hundred free at U.S. Open, 1987, as we said, which do you like better, the 50 or the hundred? Uh, I guess it depends on the meet. You know, you'll have to ask me at the end of each meet whatever I like better because I go back and forth. I think that's the sprinter mentality. It's whatever feels good that day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Purdue's been known mostly as a school that's great with divers and, and pretty good with swimmers. I mean, we had David Badaya go through the system, and, and Adam Soldati has been a great coach there. Uh, when, is this going to be the season where people start seeing Purdue as a great diving school and a great swimming school? Uh, I, I certainly hope so. I mean, um, you know, Adam's done an amazing job with that diving program, but um, you know, we have a lot of guys that are really starting to show who they are. We got Liam and Guillermo. Both those guys just won't stop getting faster, and uh, we have a lot of young talent on the team. So, you know, I'm I'm pretty excited to see what they end up doing. Yeah. What do you? What has it been like these past, I guess, four years? Uh, knowing that the diving team has been doing so well and you guys are just on the brink, does that continually motivate you guys every every season and want to get better? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We, I mean, we always want to get faster, and um, you know, we look at ourselves as, as one team. So we're all we're all cheering for each other. We're happy for the divers, and they're happy for us. And just, you know, the goal is always just to you know see how much better you can get. Uh, having grown up in the Midwest, I detect your very strong Chicago accent. Uh, what does, how did a, a, a guy from the Chicago area end up in Purdue? Uh, engineering. We, uh, there's a lot of people from Chicago down here, so, uh, you know, we like to stay in the Midwest, a good, good engineering school, so we have a pretty strong Chicago population down here. And speaking of which, what is the plan for you after you finish your senior year? Are you going to keep swimming, or is it going to be uh, particularly just focus on getting that degree and, and starting your career there? Well, uh, they always say academics first, so I'm, I'm getting my degree, but I'd like to, to stay here and train. You know, the training regimen I have here with Dan and Jay seems to be working, so I'd, I'd like to stay and I'll see, up, see where that goes. I definitely agree with that. Well, uh, I know we're uh, interrupting your, your weight program, so we'll get you back to that. But before we do, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions we ask all of our guests at the end of the show to kind of get to know them a little bit better. Uh, okay. for, first question. Um, if you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley to make it more suitable to you, how would you change it? Uh, well, first, instead of the fly, I would definitely start with the free. And then after that, I would do more free. And then instead of the breaststroke, I'd definitely get rid of that and probably replace it with free. Okay. So basically, a 200 freestyle. <laughs> oh, 100 freestyle. 100 yeah. freestyle. Okay, I got you. Uh, outside of engineering, what you're majoring in, what's a career you would like to try? That's a, I don't really know. Um, probably something leaning toward the engineering degree, but maybe like a technical thing or maybe a pilot. Okay. What's a career you would definitely not like to try? Um, a writer. Okay. Um, and if you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, what would it be? Uh, the two suit rule. No, actually, the leg suit rule. Leg suit was my, my favorite suit. I wish we could go back to that. Okay. Last question. Where do you like to go for vacation? Uh, wherever the, uh, the national championship meet is. Okay. That's, so you take a little time yeah. after the meet and hang out there? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good plan. Good plan. Well, thank you very much um, for joining us today, Danny. Congratulations on the 1987. We're looking forward to seeing how, uh, how you do through the rest of the season and looking forward to seeing... Um, Seeing you on deck at NCAAs for your final season. All right. Thank you. All right. So that's going to do it for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.